okay guys so in this video i will talk about anchor bolt okay so before starting if you are new to this channel please do subscribe because it really matters a lot for me and uh, if you are old in that case please watch this video till end so that you can understand each and every detail of this video okay so the very first thing what is anchor bolt okay if you have ever seen any steel structure like this one okay or any lamp post or light post like this one there you have must seen this type of bolt okay these things are nothing but anchor bolt also in case of light post you must have seen the fasteners which are holding this post with this foundation okay these things are known as light post and if you have ever gone to any pipe rack okay or refinery there uh, there is a certain thing that is known as vertical vessel or vertical column okay which uh, looks something like this one and in this of in this in this type of vertical vessel you must have seen that there are lots of nuts and bolts like this one okay and during construction it looks like this these all things are known as anchor bolt okay so you have uh, learned what is actually anchor bolt is now the next question is why this anchor bolt is really required okay so uh, if you simply think that you have a column like this one okay you have a column let's say you are using some i section okay this is the elevation and this is the plan view so in this column this is the compressive load and it is let's say resting on some concrete foundation okay there is base plate in between the column and your foundation okay and this load comes and directly goes to this foundation so what is the big deal why we actually need this uh, fasteners or ankle bolt okay actually we need this anchor bolt because let's say we have some different type of load let's say we have some shear force which is acting like this okay so now what will happen this whole column will simply will be displaced somehow here because we have not arrange this system in such a manner so that we can resist this lateral load okay now let's say we have fixed this one with some bolt so of course now even if we apply this lateral shear force or lateral load the column will be in its own place got it let's say now we have a moment like this here you can see this is the moment acting on this column okay so as a result of this moment what will happen you know that any moment m is simply converted into a pull and a push okay so if we apply a moment like this one what will happen here this flange is under the action of compressive force and this flange is under the action of tensile force got it now in case of compressive force it is okay to directly go to the base plate here and then from this base plate to this foundation okay there is no issues but here in case of this tensile force what will happen the flange tends to be uplifted along with this base plate if it is welded with this base plate like this okay because at the time there was no anchor bolt okay the whole thing will simply be uplifted from this foundation block so for that to resist that what we have to do we have to apply this anchor bolt to keep it in place okay so here you can see that in this case here this is the i section we have used total six number of anchor bolt just to resist the 
shear force V and the bending moment M, not the compression force. Okay. So, you have understood why this anchor bolt actually really required. Got it? So, now let us try to visualize what happens when you simply apply. Let us say uh, we have applied bending moment like this one. Let us say this is the bending moment M and it has been converted into some tensile force here. This is the tensile force and this is the compressive force. So, we are not interested about this compressive force, we are interested about this tensile one. This tensile force has of course, has been came from this flange to this base plate to this bolt. Okay, This is the force path, got it? So, now what will happen if we simply apply this tension on this anchor bolt? Of course, this anchor bolt try to came out from this foundation block, okay. But the bond strength, the bond strength, let us say this is the anchor bolt, okay. The bond strength simply prevent this outcome of this bolt, the friction or the bond strength. Then what will happen? This whole tensile strength is transferred to this end plate, whatever it is. Let us say you have welded this at the end of the bolt. Okay. Now, what happens? This whole plate try to come out like this. Okay. So, here simply this whole portion try to come out along with the concrete itself. So, here you can see that in this phase, the concrete actually cracked because concrete is very much weak in tension. Okay. So, the concrete crack due to tensile force and this whole block tends to come out due to this tensile force. This was one scenario and let us say now we have some shear force. Okay. So, we have some shear force acting on this bolt. Okay. So, let me use some different color. Let us say this is the shear force acting, okay, and this is the bolt, got it, and we have the foundation block here. Let us say this is the foundation block. So, what will happen if the bolt is strong enough, okay, if the bolt is strong enough, this force simply try to uh, remove this portion of concrete, okay. This portion of concrete that means this force is just try to visualize that whole force is being applied on this bar, okay. It is not something like anchor bolt, simply a bar. So, what will happen? This bar pushes the concrete before it, and this whole concrete try to come out. So, this is the mechanism of anchor bolt. Now, simply to resist all these things, what you have to do? First thing, you have to make this anchor bolt strong enough so that it is not break apart, okay, under the shear force or simply pull apart under the tensile force. So, first thing, you have to make sure the anchor bolt itself is strong enough. Okay, and second thing, what you have to ensure? You have to ensure that your concrete, the concrete is not cracked either in tension or in shear action. So, for that, what you have to do? Simply, you have to put the reinforcement so that you have to put the reinforcement in such a manner so that the crack does not occur. So, if you put the reinforcement like this. The tension will be taken care of by this reinforcement. So, this crack simply diminished. Okay. Similarly, here also, if you put the reinforcement like this, what will happen? The cracks, these cracks will be arrested by this reinforcement. Okay. So, let us 
look into different design aspect okay so first thing intention you have to make sure that the bolt is strong enough so that the steel is not fail like this one got it also you have to make sure the concrete have enough reinforcement here so that this whole concrete block doesn't come out due to this tensile load also in shear you have to make sure that the bolt is strong enough so that this type of shear failure doesn't occur and also you have to make sure that this concrete have reinforcement here so that this type of crack doesn't occur and this whole concrete block doesn't come out due to this shear force okay so now let's look into some practical uh, example of this type of concrete breakout and this breakout occur due to this tensile load so here you have applied this tensile load okay so you have applied this tensile load here and as i already told you that the bar is strong enough so this load has been transferred through this bar to this bolt or in some cases plated if you weld it okay now this bolt simply try to come out along with this whole concrete section okay and here you can see this crack this is the crack okay also in practical example here you can see this is the real life example okay this is the bolt and here you have applied this tensile load okay this is the tensile load p and you can see that this crack path is almost identical like this one okay so to resist this crack what you have to do i have already told you please repeat with me yes you have to provide some reinforcement here to arrest this crack okay so the design is also clear to you first thing you have to make sure your bar is strong enough and if bar is strong enough then the concrete becomes susceptible to failure so to make sure that the concrete will not crack under this type of tension uh, what you have to ensure that we have provided sufficient amount of reinforcement okay so now look into some actual design here okay here these are the anchor bolt we have total six number of anchor bolt you can see in this elevation okay and to arrest this crack let's say we are considering this middle one okay so arrest this crack this type of crack what we have done we have simply put the reinforcement okay all these are reinforcement you can see this reinforcement is crossing the crack path okay and here you can see that the close spacing of this reinforcement are close why because this in this zone if we apply a shear force like this one let's say we have a shear force like this one so this concrete is more susceptible to be cracked that is why we have provided more reinforcement in this zone so this is you can say uh, due to shear and all these are due to tension that's simple okay